Yes, Jetpack pilot and former professional stuntman Eric Scott joins us from Denver, my hometown. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. All right, now I've been to the place where you're attempting to jetpack over the Royal Gorge. Describe. I mean, this is a, this is a scary thing you're about to uh, take on. Wow. Why? <laughs> Just. Well, I stood too many times at the edge of the uh, of the canyon. Made a couple of flights out from one edge, but yeah. didn't go too far. And uh, uh, once you do that, you just wonder if you can get all the way across. So you through a little bit of thought and whatever and some uh, back and forth with my partner, we decided to go for it. My gosh. We're looking at some video of you uh, doing, obviously, you have a lot of experience through that, many, many years of doing this. You hold a Guinness Book of World Records for doing uh, jet packing. But i gotta, I got to ask you, on a Sunday morning, you're going to do this tomorrow, what is going through your mind the day before you have to cross this giant gorge? Got one shot at it. <laughs> well, <laughs> and if you fail, is there? There's no well, safety there's, net, I assume. No, I mean it's uh, it's the longest distance I've ever flown, and I'm basically going to have to achieve speeds of probably close to 80 miles an hour, and pushing a flat surface through the wind at 80, you know, causes a few uh, other variables, if you will. But uh, wow, you know, I've been doing this for 16 years, so it's time to time to do something of this nature, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confident I can get across it. Just need to, uh, you know, work in all the variables with the winds and stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. You know, the gorge sometimes has winds of up to 140 miles an hour in the, in the gorge. But if it's, <laughs> if it's windy, we'll probably, you know, opt to go for a better weather situation. But, uh, I hope you know, so. it's definitely a one-shot deal. Eric, this is so nerve-wracking. The only person that I've ever seen successfully do something like this is George Jetson. <laughs> Did you get the idea from the Jetsons? No, no, I just got it because, yeah, I've always been kind of an adrenaline junkie. And, uh, yeah, it's next to doing something like going out to the Snake River where, you know, Evil already had attempted to right. do it. Um, Evil. You know, this is, this is what Colorado has for the, you know, it's the world's highest expansion bridge. It's 1,500 feet across and 1,200, about 1,053 feet below. Wow. So, Nothing but uh, rocks, too. Yeah. Below. And, you know, yeah. Evil Knievel has broken so many, but he, of course, passed away recently, but he broke so many bones in his life. What, what is the biggest injury that you've sustained by having uh, used the jet pack to fly around? Yeah, about a year into training, I tried something I wasn't ready to do, and uh, from about four stories up, I augered into the uh, asphalt, if you will. It oh. basically destroyed him. Tore my left shoulder up and my wow. knee, but I had that reconstructed and got back on the horse. Well, we hope you uh, suffer no injuries in this next feat. Eric Scott, good luck to you. Check back with us after you successfully jetpack over the Royal Gorge. You got it. Good, good luck, Eric. Good luck, Eric. What are we I, want, of you I want one of those. Uh, I'm sure that could be arranged. Can, can I get one of those to fly uh, to work? That would be a great yes. story. We should try that. <laughs> you can take off right from the studio. <laughs>